Welcome back everyone to our Technical Tuesday. Today's video is going to be on the Moonbeams collection. Now, from Maniology. Now, I know this says BMC. This is from before they rebranded, but they still have these. Now, I don't know if they still have, I think it was Planet Silk, they said on Last Chance. So they may only have two out of three available still. I could be wrong. Um, I hope they didn't discontinue any part of this set. I really love this set. Um, but this is a requested video and we are going to showcase the Moonbeams collection over other colors other than just black and white, what most people just swatch on because these are special effect polishes and different colors tend to have different effects. And th that was requested and I have lots of other colors. I have three of each color that I'm swatching on today so that way we can do one on each color and there's three different um, colors in the Moonbeams collection. So <clears throat> I have I believe a total of 11 different colors in which I'm going to put this over and I'm going to start with Planet Silk. going to go in with this one I think. And I have two more gray tips. And then we will go in with Expedition Pearl, which is the greenish colored one. And then my favorite one of the three, which is Curious Matter, which has the most from the bubble. Yeah, this one has the most used from the bottle. It's my favorite one. I love the the blue in it. So that's all three over the gray. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to the brown that I have here. Alright, we're going to go back to Planet Silk, which is a very pinky um, hued one. Yeah. 
Okay. I apologize for the background noise. It is a laundry day. Um, it's also a weekend day currently for me. Um, my children are home and it's it's been a day. <laughs> almost eight-year-old has been very volatile today and it's been a difficult day. <laughs> All right, now we're back on Expedition Pearl, which is the green one. Hued one, which has a more gold look when you put it over brown. And we're going to go back in with Curious Matter. Now I'm going to use this very bright yellow. I'm going to go back and plain the silk. show close-up comparisons of all these at the very end I think probably the easiest way that one didn't stamp as nicely you could see it but the pickup wasn't as clean as what I'd hoped it would be okay so now that we're done with plant silk we'll go back in with expedition pearl Once again, it gave it a more of a gold, um, gold look with this background. Mm, it's getting close to being time to retire this stamper. That's my tears is in it. He's going to be clingy because Big Brother has been a bit of a jerk today. I apologize, guys. Okay. So it's Curious Matter over this bright yellow, which the actual name of that color is Banana Boat. It's one of Maniology's polishes. Now we're going to move into this nice bright orange.
Hmm. Some kind of big vehicle on the outside. Okay. So we got Planet Silk and we got this, I believe it's called Sunset Orange from Ineology. Pearl. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yep. Uh oh. Can you please play your Mario somewhere else, though, buddy? Yes. And then he won't. Okay. Go ahead and stamp over. Curious matter. Now we're going to move on to this nice dark um, like forest green. And we're going to go back to Planet Silk. Ooh, it really shows up on the screen nicely. I found that generally the darker colors tend to get um, better results than the brighter colors. Expedition Pearl. Got a brain part. Um, kind of out of sorts, given how bad this morning has been. I apologize, guys. It's just been a rough day. Okay. So, the Expedition Pearl. And the green actually really shows up on it this time instead of the goldish hue that it's been getting. Got a more green hue. Look at this. Which is kind of nice that the green in it kind of really pokes out instead of the gold tones. Now we're going to go back on the Curious Matter for the final tip on that green. Okay, now we're going to go into a brighter green, and we go back to Planet Silk like we always do here. Okay, 
we done from the start of the video. It's also getting very full. I'm going to have to change my lint roller sheet here in just a moment. I'm running out of space to clean my stamper on it. Okay, so Curious Matter is next. Expedition Pearl is the one more. out in that one too. Which is kind of nice. And last but not least, Curious Matter. And the final tip for that color. It's a very subtle look um, with Curious Matter. I think that's even more. It's definitely interesting. Uh, I do like it better with the darker colors. It really pops better. You can actually see what it is a lot better on the darker colors. Okay, so we're gonna go into this blue. Planet Silk. I need a fresh cotton ball again. Let me make sure this is cleaned up enough because it looks like it's not. Expedition Pearl. Make sure we clean the plate first. Yay! One more load of laundry done. <laughs> like three more to go. I am one no. mentally and emotionally tired mama today. No. And by the end of the day, I'm probably going to be physically tired too. Okay. There's the green. Eh, it's got more of a gold hue on the blue, but it does have hints of the green. matter give me my cotton ball thank you
Ooh, that's pretty. That is really pretty. I do like that so much. Yeah, it doesn't help that that is my favorite one, but the other ones are pretty too. It's just that specific one, especially over that blue. Ooh, it's so pretty. Let me get this purple in. Back to Planet Silk. Ooh. Ooh, I really like that over the purple. I like that pink of that purple. That's that really I like that. I like Planet Silk over that purple. That's I'm curious to how Expedition Pearl's gonna do over it. The green one. I'm really curious because that that pink, the Planet Silk turned out beautiful over that. But once again, that is that is a darker color, and like I said, darker colors tend to um, work better with these than the lighter colors. That's why I gave such a big range. Um, I could have just done their like tropical bright rainbow that they've got, and just the orange, the yellow, the green, the purple, the blue, and like the pinky color, um, and not bothered adding the other colors like the brown and the gray, the darker green, the red. Um, and the darker purple, I, I could have very easily just left those out, but the, it really needs to be showcased on both lighter colors and darker colors because darker colors are much different. Um, and see that Expedition Pearl came up beautifully on the purple too, and it's a darker color. The, the, the darker colors really showcase the uh, Moonbeams moon collection, they really show it much better than the lighter colors. <laughs> you did good? Yeah, you completed your level, Kyle. Good job. But can you please go out to the living room with Robbie? Please? Take your 2DS to the living room with Robbie. Uh, uh, uh. It helped Mama a lot if you did, buddy. Llama, llama. Llama, llama. Okay. Llama, llama. Okay, it's a curious matter that I need to tell. Okay. Llama, llama. Yeah, you like Llama Llama. Do you want a Llama Llama book tonight? Mama Llama. We could do Llama Llama tonight. Mama. Which one? Which Guys, I can't help but love this. <laughs> it's so pretty. <sighs> oh. Okay. So now I've got a lighter purple here. Okay, we're gonna go back in with Planet Silk. I 
I have a very shiny spot over here where I've been scraping all of the excess polish off of my card. It's a very pretty shiny spot. Very subtle too, very delicate. Okay, so we're going in with Expedition Pearl, the green one. That really stands out on this one. Maybe hard to see on the camera. To do some close-ups with all this after it's all said and done. This is this is really pretty though. And doing curious matter. Curious matter, just mm. I just love that one way too much. <laughs> ah! Okay, so this is the like one. coral pink that I have, roughly. Well, it's a hot pink. It looks kind of like a coral pink on camera, but it's a hot pink. pinky colored one. It actually looks very lovely on that. Very subtle. I think that would be something I would want to use but, uh, with swirls. It really just depends on the image. I feel like, I feel like swirls that would look good on. It would have to be something not very detailed. Okay, that one stood out a lot more than uh, the previous one did. Okay. 
And then Curious Matter. Didn't mean to hit the stand. And the tip. God, is there a color that I don't like this one over? <laughs> don't think there is. Alright, and then the last color is this nice uh, burgundy color. I really like that actually. That's really pretty. This actually, when it's stamped over this color, it reminds me a lot of It's Lit. It's not the first one like that either. It reminds me of It's Lit. Alright, now we're down to the last one. Just the last tip, last one of the color. We're going to use Curious Matter, and then we're going to go in and have a closer zoom in on these to get a better idea of how this looks. with that with that with uh, curious matter over that right but I think it's the first one one of the first ones that uh, I didn't uh, like the best There's not many but there are a few what just didn't uh, mesh as well with the base color this plate off to the side and clean up the section real quick. Look at that, guys. Look how pretty that is. That is just what was remnant on the scraper card. Like, it's so pretty. 
this collection is hands down one of my favorites. It's just so shimmery and it's colorful and rainbow iridescence. Just, I love it. It's got, it's very iridescent. So pretty. It, I absolutely love it. Hands down, love it. Um, It's a lot of trial and error with what colors it'll work with and what it won't. And like I said, I find that dark colors tend to work better with these than lighter colors. It really just depends on what you're trying to go for. Um, look at that, guys. Look how pretty that is. All shimmery, very iridescent, has mermaid vibes all over but like you could do galaxy with it and <laughs> look at this guys like look how pretty that is it's so pretty those colors are just absolutely gorgeous that whole sheet is just covered in those three stamping polishes and it's so pretty okay so So it's going to take me a moment here to get this all organized. Okay. All right. So this is over the red. And the order is, this is Curious Matter on this one, Expedition Pearl, and then Planet Silk. And then I, once again, Curious Matter over this pink, Expedition Pearl, and then um, Planet Silk. Same, we have Curious Matter. Expedition Pearl, Planet Silk. This one is Curious Matter. Which I absolutely love with that purple. Um, Expedition Pearl, Planet Silk. Same order over the blue. And then same order. Curious Matter, Expedition Pearl, Planet Silk, same order on the darker green, Curious Matter, Expedition Pearl, and Planet Silk. The order stays the same throughout all of these. You barely can tell over the orange and the yellow is the same way. The, the lighter the color, the harder it is to see. And the darker the color, um, the better it is to pick up on. Gray is one of my favorites to do it over. Um, if I don't want specifically black or white, I do feel like it goes really well over that. And this is a reverse art. This is Planet Silk. Expedition Pearl and Curious Matter. And that's all the colors, guys. I hope that that was helpful on showcasing how the Moonbeams collection works, guys. It's special effects polishes tend to just take some experimenting, but as a general rule of thumb with these, um, if you want it to be a little bit more detailed of a stamp um, put it over a darker color because it's going to be very hard to see if it's on a lighter color the darker the color the better but if you want it to be exceptionally subtle and not super detailed lighter colors work just fine it just adds a little bit of shimmer um, but 
all in all, darker colors are best when working with these particular polishes. So I hope this is helpful to show the range um, of this these type of polishes. I use them for all sorts of stuff. I love them in reverse stamping as well. So uh, next week I will be working with doing a video on gel stamping polishes and stamping with gels. Um, they generally come in tubes like this. So I will go over that next next Tuesday. And I haven't decided what Thursday's Manny tutorial video will be, but I am working on it. I am also working on a competition set uh, that is for ambassadors on Instagram. And I will have a video on that set set to be released after Valentine's Day. Because um, here soon I do need to start um, preparing Valentine's Day manis. Though the theme I'm going with for New Year goals is mental health. So the mani will be based off of mental health. And um, I think that that is something that not enough people tend to think about is, you know, mental health and that's that's something that I need, you know, something that I have been working on for many, many years <laughs> and still work on and try to be in a better spot and to teach my children more about mental health. Um, it's something I have been working on. So that is all for today's video, guys. I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you all for watching. And until next time, bye.